guys, Mark here with Axiom Armor. Uh, today we have this digital force gauge. Um, and for those of you who know, a digital force gauge is used to measure the amount of force applied to something. And what we're gonna be using this uh, measurement tool for today is to see what type of force is required to break a glass screen. So we have six different iPhone 5 screens here, all from the same manufacturer, all from the same stock. And what we have is, uh, starting with this all the way up to the left, the only thing that's different about them is the screen protection. So this guy right here, unfortunately, has no screen protection. This right here has a 9H uh, hardness tempered glass. This one has Protection Pro. This screen right here has the Axiom Armor liquid glass. This screen, we have pre-applied the Axiom Armor screen film. And lastly, this has the Axiom Armor liquid glass as well as the screen film. So without further ado, let's get to testing. So we're gonna go ahead and take our screen with no protection Stick it under here like so. Where right in the middle is where the needle is hitting. And we're gonna go ahead and start this test. We're just doing this one with no protection because we need a baseline of where this particular screen is going to crack with no protection. So we're up to 10, 11, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. we're up to seven. All right, right about 70 pounds of force. And that guy is a goner. We're gonna move on to the tempered glass here. It's obviously the tempered glass that's on here. Go ahead and scoot that in here until it's right about in the middle of the screen. And let's get to cranking. So as you know, tempered glass is supposed to protect the actual screen from damage. And the tempered glass usually breaks before the screen breaks. So let's see what we're up to here. So we're, we're at 55 and the screen broke. So let's go ahead and get the pressure off of this for a second. Let's see what actually happened here. Okay, so this tempered glass is broken and it did save the screen. So the application was done just according to specs. Uh, with the install gel and it has cured. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy under here, right about in the middle. And we're gonna go ahead and put our force on it and see what happens. All right, so if you remember, right about 70 is where the um, screen broke by itself. So we know we should be able to get at least to 70. We are at 15, 20, 40, 40. All right, we're up to, okay, right about 80 is where the Protection Pro gives way there you have it so that's it's gonna be 80 
So we're gonna go ahead and move on here to this one, which has the Axiom Armor liquid glass on it. Nothing else on it, just the liquid glass screen protector. There's a lot of controversy on the market um, about, um, about liquid glass and snake oil and all this other stuff. But however, you're about to witness um, the Axiom Armor liquid glass in its finest moment. So we're up here to 1819. 26 We're up to 42 We're up to 60 70 85 90 and we kind of gave out there this this digital force gauge can only go so much, but as you can see, the liquid glass by itself went all the way as far as you can. So quite an improvement over anything that we've seen so far. So now we're gonna move on to the Axiom Armor screen film. It's this guy right here. So just like with the Protection Pro, which is the uh, kind of competitor to this product per se. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see where it ranks up against that. Remember that Protection Pro rang in at right at 80 and the Axiom Armor Liquid Glass by itself rang in at 100 or a little over 100. I'm gonna go ahead here and see what the screen film has to offer. So up here to 20. Eight up here to fifty seventy eighty. All right, eighty eight. So a slight gain over Protection Pro is the screen film product at about eighty eight. So last but not least, we have the Axiom Armor liquid glass and screen film here. So the combination, uh, you can sell it as a bundle and uh, all right, so here we go. Last but not least, we have the bundled product with both of the Axiom Armor branded screen protectors on the device. So here we go. You're at 27, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, let's just keep going for the heck of it, 127, 128, 130, 140. There you have it guys, so 140, almost 141 pounds of force it took to break that one. So we're gonna recap here. So the iPhone screen with no protection broke at 71.95 pounds of force. Then we did the one with the tempered glass, which broke at 61.99 pounds of force, which was the tempered glass, but therefore providing no more protection for that screen. And then the Protection Pro, just about 10 over the no protection at 81.57. And then the liquid glass by Axiom Armor, 114 pounds of force, guys. Um, that's unheard of. And then the screen film, 91.56 pounds of force, which is 10 more than Protection Pro. And then finally, our Mac Daddy test, which was the liquid glass by Axiom Armor and the screen film by Axiom Armor. It took a beating at 140.76 pounds of force. So this is a pretty darn scientific test that we've done here. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any comments, just let us know. My information is right here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.